coming back. Thanks for making that the most awkward entrance I've ever had in my life. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have room, and then you spun me so no, fast. It, it, was, it was my fault. I'm sorry. No, I think it was mine. I'm sure it was as well. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? I'm really good. Congratulations on the Emmy nomination. Hey, thanks That's a whole amazing. lot. Isn't it good? Yes. All because of you. I know. I know. I give you a lot of credit. You are uh, one of our highlights when we when we show some well, favorite shows. You're one of them. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd like to think that my 12 jokes that I shared that day are actually uh -huh. the nominees for the. You. I'd like to think that yeah. that joke will never ever be nominated. Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll cut that out. Nobody will ever see it. Thank you, I appreciate yeah, that. We haven't even really started the interview. Great, awesome. Yeah, yeah we, can, we can come in anytime we want. Wonderful, how about now? Okay, hey Jason, hey, good to up? see you. Nice to see you too. Hey, listen, uh, what have you been up to? Uh, I, uh, I, I just got back from Costa Rica, actually. You just got back from Mexico, Yes, huh? I did. So we got a little Latin flavor thing And happening. how was Costa Rica? Costa Rica was, uh, was great fun, it was beautiful. Really? It was a very, uh, very quick, uh, spontaneous trip. I was just there for a weekend. But it was a jam-packed weekend. What did you do? I went hang gliding. Mm. I uh, on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, on purpose. It was beautiful though. It was so much fun. Have you done that before? I had never done that before, uh, and it was. Uh, we probably got to about 1,500, 2,000 feet, and it was. Uh, it was. Wow. It was really incredible. We, we, I had to go tandem, because uh, apparently my American hang gliding license doesn't really work down there. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> But it was great. I saw a, a, a tandem a with who? With someone you don't know? Someone I don't know. I don't know. And you're actually and like you're in this sort of uh, sleeping bag type of uh, contraption. It's very snuggly and very. I've seen cozy. those for sale on the internet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so wait. So you're hanging you, with someone you don't know? Yeah, with someone you don't know. Uh, at about 2,000 feet. Like a baby Bjorn type thing? Are they on your front? Yeah, it's, your... It's, like, it's like that, actually. Uh -huh. It's very much like that. Uh -huh. um, I felt like a joey. I was uh -huh. like a marsupial kind <laughs> yeah. of thing. It was really Because that really would be fun. so peaceful to be floating, but not with someone you don't know in a sleeping bag. Yeah, we got... <laughs> we... <laughs> it's a little strange. It's a, it's a, it's a strange uh, mm -hmm. uh, situation, but um, I got comfortable very quickly. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, and then you said you saw what? A sloth? I saw a sloth, which... Uh, uh, apparently is in the marsupial family. It's a monkey type of, of thing. Yes. But we could barely see it. We kind of saw more of a, a silhouette of it. It was on the top of the tree line. So, but scratch that off the list. Yeah, you don't need to see those again. I, I don't need to see those. I've, I've seen two of them. They've been on the show. They, ha they do everything upside down. They hang upside down their whole life. That's incredible. Yes. It's incredible. They There's move more very facts, slowly. but I won't. Apparently, I, I think actually one of the facts is that they're, they, they're, they are like the only animal in the world to eat this very uh, particular berry that sort of makes them drunk. Yes. Like, that's why they move so slow. And the koala is as well. The koala, oh, the koala is, is always, well. yeah, but sloths are drunk all the time. They eat this berry. Uh, they're the alcoholics of the animal kingdom. It's awesome. Yeah. It's great. It's great. My, my buddy and I sought out these berries for the entire yeah. weekend. Right. <laughs> we, we, we couldn't find them because apparently Budweiser works just as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, yeah. so you were through like the forest, and you, these things were just yeah, hanging. A, yeah, just just hanging around, just uh, just hanging out, and we we uh, we you know we saw natural waterfalls, and it was just beautiful. I mean, it's just a really beautiful place. I would love to go there. Fun. It's it seems very very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, no facials or any of that stuff. Not uh -huh. where I was. No. Not where I was. No. no it, was, well, it wasn't. It was very sort of. Uh, it was all about nature. It was very sort of. I would have loved Stripped that. down. You know. I, I would have loved that. I couldn't do the nature thing because the sun. We can't be out in the sun with the antibiotics. Are you feeling better? What, yeah, what was I was. Wrong? I was under an umbrella with a. A, with a huge hat and a sheet on. That's what I was like. I was, it was so not enjoyable. But uh, yeah. but I was. I, but I'm better now. Um, hey, listen. The last time you were here, you were talking about um, that you were a, you worked at the submarine sandwich place and that you were a good sandwich maker. I believe it's called Subway. Yes. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't know if it was the exact place. I, what, but Subway. Yes. yes. Let's plug Subway then. <laughs> uh, it, you worked at Subway, and, but what I didn't know is that you were on As the World Turns. That's right, I was on As the World Turns for But a while. you were like this hunky, uh, you were like a s heartthrob. You know what? I stand corrected. Yeah. I was handsome. Yes. You got an Emmy nomination for Best Young Actor. What's the category there? I got 12 of them. It was Best yeah. Young Actor. Uh -huh. It was Best Talk so Show uh, Host. Uh -huh. It was, uh, yeah, Best uh, no, you younger, you, younger Actor in, a, you, in Best daytime. Younger Actor. Uh, television, which was uh, which was great, but I lost, so I was uh, 0 for 1. But I, I don't think that's going to be the case. And look at you now. And look at me now. Look at you now. We're, we'll talk about. And now you have uh, the the Jersey Girl film coming out. Uh, 
Any day now, right? Yes, any day now. Very, right. very soon. All two, right. Two, 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 I, I actually don't know. What's Jersey Girl? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's I'll, soon. It's uh, the 26th of March. Yes. All right. I'll, I'll fill you in in a second. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going uh, we're gonna to take a break. We'll be right back with Jason. That's very Thank nice. We're back with Jason Biggs, and he's showing me his Rolex, rubbing it in my face. And, uh, <laughs> he's he's going to bring me a Rolex next time, though. Yeah, that's why yeah. I said that during the commercial. But yeah. now that it's on air, I guess I really have to do it. Yep. <laughs> That's why I brought it up. Great. Um, <laughs> so also, we have something else in common, because I used to actually work in a restaurant making sandwiches, not Subway, but I, I've, I've worked in the, the restaurant industry. I also worked for uh, JCPenney and mm -hmm. a couple of other clothing, clothing stores. And there is nothing more aggravating than when people are shopping and open up a shirt and decide it's not right for them and just throw it back without folding it. Do you, you, I can't stand that. Because you worked in a clothing I, I store. Would, yeah, I worked in, uh, in Gap Kids uh, slash Baby Gap. It was uh -huh. a little combo store in the Those Garden Those are State tiny Plaza. clothes to fold. They're, they're very, very tiny, you know, but I was, I was really a master at folding the toddler onesies. <laughs> I mean, they're, you know, they're this big, and so it's... With the footsies in the onesies? Uh, footsies are in the onesies, yes. yeah, but then for like, like six to 12 months and newborn zero to six months, is, uh -huh. you know, it's just they let the legs stick out, I guess. I don't right. know. Right. So, so, but anyway, it, it, no matter how you cut it, it's, it's very, it's a very delicate job. Uh -huh. It's a very delicate job, and you gotta have a little, and the best is like the buttons come down for a little poop hole, which is great. I right. Think that's fun. <laughs> You know, it just comes. I wish. You know, we should have clothes that just do that. I was you know? gonna say. Like our jeans should just yeah. unbutton in the back, uh -huh. so we could just go like that. Right. right. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. We should have so, a clothing line. We should, we should do it. We should start a clothing line. I think that'd be fantastic. Yeah. For, yeah. for children and senior citizens, the, uh, the buttons. Are, <laughs> but, uh, um, but it would drive me crazy, though. It's uh, it's OCD, is what it is. Obsessive compulsive disorder, which I have. Uh, do you it, have it? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I, I I have it. I, and I. What I think, other ways? Uh, well, it's just I'm a very like tidy, sort of everything in its place. Right. Uh, you know, i.e., picture frames in my house or something. Uh, -huh. if, uh You know, the, the housekeeper will come once a week and, and do a wonderful job cleaning, but I, you know, I have to go around the house after she leaves and put back all the picture frames exactly like they. It's a problem I have. I hear people laughing and making fun of the back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay? Literally, like I, if I, it's I, is it a is it a big thing if it's way over or is it just a slight it's thing? It's the slightest thing. I mean, it's, oh. it's 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 I'm very very specific about placement, and uh, and. And it's, and it's kind of a, it's, it just kind of drives me crazy. My dad, actually, he'll, he'll vacuum a rug, and you know how you get those great little vacuum diamonds in the rugs? Yeah. Yeah, you're not allowed to walk on those for at least three weeks after he does that. <laughs> and, and how do you get through the house? Uh, you, you, uh, you eat some sloth drunken berries and climb uh -huh. on the ceiling. <laughs> you're upside down? Yeah. Yeah, um, well, that's, you gotta loosen up a little bit on some of that stuff. I know. Or good luck finding a relationship, because yeah. uh, that's, that's gonna be hard to be that. No, but I'm, I'm sort of the same way as far as being particular. I have, like, clothes hanging in color-coordinated mm -hmm. uh, things. Everything has to sort of be, be neat and all that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating, but... Uh, yeah, but it's a good thing. I guess so. At the end of the day, there are worse things to have. Yeah, sure. Let's name some. Um, <laughs> Um, hey, so Jersey Girl, tell us about Jersey Girl. Uh, Jersey Girl, uh, uh, Ben Affleck and Liv Tyler. Uh -huh. uh, it's a Kevin Smith uh, a film. Kevin Smith did Clerks and Mallrats, among among many other films. And uh, uh, I just came in and did this little fun little part. And uh, it's a, it's a, it's a fun film, a bit more dramatic, I think, for for Kevin Smith, even more so than say Chasing Amy, which he did as well. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really cool movie, and I was just lucky to be a, a part of it. Little little tiny thing, it was fun. Good. Well, I look forward to seeing it because it, it does. It looks it looks really good. Thank you. All right, so it's it's uh, Jersey Girl opens March 26th, and uh, thanks for being here once again, thanks Jason. Thanks for having me. Don't Thank go you. away. We'll be right back.